Oh, guys. Did you miss me? I missed you guys a little bit. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, we haven't done a bops and a flops in a while, so let's get into it. Here comes Taco Princess. Come here. So this product right here, I want a refund. Would not recommend. It's very needy. It screams a lot. It um it shits on the floor when I mop. And it takes up 50% of the bed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so my first product I'm really excited about to share with you guys is this sunscreen by Tula. This sunscreen, it, I got this in my subscription box and I get compliments on my skin every time I wear this, especially with no makeup. Those no makeup days, this makes your skin glow. Like you've done drank all of like Erie you know, 50,000 gallons of water. Or like, you know, you pregnant and you glowing. I love it. It's called the Protect and Glow. This protects you against UVA, UVB, and blue light, which is bomb. Um, I love this. I'm gonna just show you a little bit. I don't wanna waste it. It's a gel sunscreen. And it's got like a yellow tint to it. I reviewed this in my Ipsy box if you want to check that out. We'll link that up there. And it gives the skin such a pretty glow. And it just looks so healthy and hydrated. I love this. This is like my favorite sunscreen now. And for a long time, it was the Shishido. There wasn't anything that I could like compare to that that I loved as much. Even the Neutrogena. Like, the spray on one is alright, but I don't use that on my face. My second favorite product this month... Ooh, this was a tough one. I will have to say is this Watermelon... Watermelon Charcoal Purifying Cleanser by Pure List. And I also... Uh, I also have um, a video where I use this on my skincare routine. I'll link that up there. And this, I really like it. I mean, if you're into, if you're not into fragrance, you might not like this because it smells like watermelon and I want to eat it. But it has a charcoal in it and that basically draws all the crap out your pores. And it's like a gel cleanser, which I love gel cleansers. I'm obsessed with gel cleansers. And this one is... Is a thicker gel cleanser. It's a black consistency. And it just smells so good. It doesn't like make my skin feel tight after I use it. Like it needs moisture and it's dry to all hell. And I feel like it's moisturizing and it just gets the job done. And I just love the way it smells. Um I recently, well, I didn't discover this myself. Let me not take all the credit. I seen this in another YouTuber's video that she's like always laying down her baby hairs and stuff. And I used to use a toothbrush, but this makes more sense. I found this on Amazon. Um, the one side is like a small uh, like toothbrush kind of, war brush. And then the other side is a comb. So this is really good for like parting and then just like laying down your baby hairs and stuff. I like this a lot. I think it was under $5. I'll link it down below, but I, I really like this. I discovered this eyeliner in my full face under $25 video. If you're interested in that, I'll link it up there. This is the Essence Super Precise Eyeliner Long Lasting and Waterproof. This really is long lasting and waterproof 
I fell asleep with this on my face one night with my eyelashes. It was still on. And then afterwards, when I went to wash it off, it wasn't coming off. <laughs> I had to use like, I had to double cleanse and then use micellar water to take it off with a Q-tip. It's a solid eyeliner. I don't see this going anywhere. It's got the felt tip. And it draws a real precise line. What am I doing? I'm creating artwork on the back of my hand. But the, the applicator is very bendable, which I like. I don't like those stiff ones that are like on those pen eyeliners. They're terrible. And I'm pretty sure this was under $4. Like, you can't beat that. Like, this is bomb. I really, really tried to like this. I need to take this off my hand. I'll just use my other hand, whatever. I really tried to like this. This is the Milani Screen Queen. Is it foundation? Yeah, I, you can't even call this foundation. This is the Milani Screen Queen foundation. And I'm gonna tell you why I hate this. The coverage on this is non-existent. And I've only used this um, not even more than five times and the pump is broken. Like it literally broke. So I can't even use that part. Second reason why I hate it, you know, it kind of looks promising. Like it's a thicker um, foundation, but then the coverage is non-existent. Once you start to rub this in, you would have better luck with a tinted BB cream or a tinted moisturizer like once you rub this in it's gone like there's really no coverage and then I feel like it clings to dryness and stuff you know like my hand doesn't look much different to be honest it's like not even light coverage or to say I think the claims are well yeah I think they say it's light coverage it's not even light coverage it's there's nothing there <laughs> Like, there literally must be no pigment in this product. It's a waste of money, and the pump is faulty, and it'll break after you use it a couple times. It's trash. I've never been a fan of Milani foundation anyway. The oxidize and turn orange is disgusting. Um, I have this product I got in one of my subscription boxes. It is a... It's like one of those scalp cleansing scrub things. And I really hate this so much. Every time I've used this, I forget why I didn't like it. And when I use it again, I want to punch myself in the face. Because it's, um, it, I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of like a shampoo. It, it's like a shampoo gel. And it has like big ass chunks of sea salt in there. And I don't, I've never had this happen to me before washing my hair my whole life. I put this on my scalp and as I'm like scrubbing it in, it's like, I don't know if it's so thin once the water hits it that it literally runs down my face and somehow gets up my nose. And then it's just burning. It's burning my whole inside of my face and I'm just like, oh, oh. I hate that. I can't, I can't use it. If anybody wants to try it, let me know. Um, I was very disappointed with this co-wash it's by Cantu oh, no. I thought this would be bomb and like you get this big thing for like four or five bucks it's a it claims to be a conditioning co-wash and it looked promising it's got like 15 natural butters and oils and stuff but this I didn't feel left my hair moisturized after I used it at all and like my curl pattern was just like <laughs> kind of like a puppet when the puppeteer like doesn't hold the strings up my hair was just <laughs> and I was just <laughs> so my next my next bop is this Pixie Skin Treats Dreamy Mist. It's got jasmine and lavender. This is one of their newer mists. 
And the only reason why I know is because I've tried every single one of Psychotic. This one is for, supposed to be for bedtime. And it has like the essential oils, the lavender, there's melatonin in here as well, I think. Yeah, there is. I use this at bedtime and I really like this. I don't think this was in my last skincare video. I used the Carly instead because I forgot that I took this out of the bathroom to film this video, so. But yeah, I really enjoy that a lot and that's like, I think $15 at Tarjay. What? It's nappy again. I'm going to just leave it back there. So before I got cut off, I can't remember what I was talking about, but I said the rest of the products I ain't get to yet. So I love Dove deodorant, the spray-on kind. Ugh. This one is really good. It's for men, though, but I ran out of deodorant, and I used my boyfriend's. <laughs> This is the Silver Control Antiperspirant. It smells really good. So this is a new favorite. I think I'm switching to the men's deodorant from now on because it's a lot stronger. And this is my favorite scent at the current moment. I wear it almost every day. And my boyfriend gave it to me for my birthday. Thank you, Chocolate Daddy. This is um, Miu Miu. I don't know what it's called. It's just a Mew Mew. Is it? Is that what it's called? I don't know. This is what the bottle looks like. And it smells so good. Mm. It's like, it's not a fruity scent. I'm trying to describe it to you guys. Hold on. It's like... More of that, it's got like peppery notes. It's a clean smell, that's what I'm looking for. It's a real clean smell, it has like peppery notes. And maybe like slightly floral, but it's not like the type of clean smell that's gonna make you smell like Gertrude in the nursing home. Like it's, mm, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. If you guys like, what would be something similar? Maybe Mark, Mark Jacobs Daisy, I guess, kind of. But that I feel like that smells more sweet. This is bomb. I think it was one of like the best rated scents of this year or last year. Can't remember. Don't quote me on it. This moisturizing primer by Pure Less is bomb. I love it so much. Um, it's the Matcha Green Tea Antioxidant Priming Moisturizer. It's claims as white as white light. <laughs> it's lightweight, oil free, and primes the skin for makeup for oily to combination and normal, even sensitive skin. So that's like all of me right there. I have combination and I have sensitive skin, like really bad. Certain products I can't even use because. As soon as I put it on my skin, I like break out instantly or I get really red or it just burns my skin. Like I just put acid on my face. This is so good. I believe I got this in a subscription box and you know, this month I'm really feeling their stuff. I don't remember if this one sent it. Not really, I don't think so. Um. Another flop for this month would be, I feel bad saying this because I really wanted to like this, is the Balm Even Steven Whip Foundation. But I feel like I'm kind of biased because I only used it one time, but I just hated it. Um, you can see me um, test this out in the Full Face of Balm Cosmetics video I did, and I'll link that over here. Um, it's a whip foundation and at first it looks really dark like it matches not really it looks really dark it looks kind of orange inside the pan or whatever this is and it's the strangest thing like as soon as you put it on because it's like whipped I use the brush to put it on as soon as you put it on and you start blending it it's like it lightens up which I've never seen before it's weird 
it doesn't oxidize or anything and i really wanted to like this because this whip foundation literally feels like there's nothing on your skin like when i was taking the brush and blending it i was like is there even product on my face so strange yeah this is like a a flop for sure um i think that's all i have for you guys so i'll see ya when i see ya thanks for watching don't forget to comment down below like this video subscribe if you haven't already join the family we a little nuts but it's all right we look out for each other thanks for watching bye